Greetings guys and welcome. I am Carlos from Everything Tech and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Max Boost Fitness Band. The Max Boost Fitness Band is compatible with iOS 6 and up and Android 4.3 and up and it syncs via Bluetooth. It just has one button and this button controls everything with an input of a click or a double click. With one click, you can find out how many steps you've taken in a day, how many calories you've burned, the distance you've traveled, and if you are within your objectives. It is splash resistant, has up to five days battery life. They say that it lasts for about five days, but I've been two weeks without charging mine if I sink every couple of days. It has three days memory, so after three days at 12 at night, it will reset and you have lost the last three days. So it's advisable to sync with the iOS or Android app every couple of days. The band just puts you in control and you act like your own personal trainer. It, has, uh, it shows the calories you've burned your movements throughout the day and also tracks your sleep patterns during the night. It helps you achieve your personal goals and your targets and it keeps you regularly updated throughout the day. It records steps, distances, calories, the quality of sleep and you can sync it to a smartphone via Bluetooth or an external cable to the Max Fitness Pro app. And this is the provided cable, which is which plugs inside the band on those points there. And then it plugs in either via Bluetooth or by three and a half millimeter jack. To remove it, all you need to do is just do that. Okay, so it has an OLED display and obviously just one button. One of the things that I've noticed is that outside, the viewing angles are fine, as you can see. But because it's very dim, it's hard to see when it's bright sun outside. It comes in a variety of colors. I've got the black one and it contains a 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery uh, with a rated capacity of 70 milliamps. Another thing that I like about this band is the clip to lock it to your wrist. Uh, you can have it uh, if you have a very small wrist You'll be able to see just how small I can get this band, just that. And the maximum rest is that. Now let's have a look at the iOS app and how to set up this little device. Okay, to set up the device all you need to do is go into the app store or android play store and download the max fitness pro app just write in on a search box max fitness pro and then just download the app once it's downloaded just open the app up and the app gives you information of everything that you've done throughout your day i have had this fitness band for five months now and I've got quite a bit of data gathered on the app. So the first thing you need to do is go to the settings and start filling in your profile. So put your name in, select your language, if you're male or female, your height, your weight and hit save and go back. After that go to the workout goal and set up your workout plan. So how many steps you want to do throughout the day how many calories you want to burn throughout the day, how many hours you want to sleep in a night, and hit save. In here you can reset all of the settings as well and go back. 
So once again, go into the reminders, set up if you like it to remind you every day, how many hours a day, during what period a day, and with an interval of how many minutes. And hit save again. So you go back again, and then go to the wake up alarm, your alarm time, the monitoring period for how long you want it to vibrate for, and how many days in a week you want to be woken by the band. And hit save once again. After that, you've just got the About Us, which is the user manual and the version of the app. And finally, this is how we're going to sync the band with the app. By syncing the band with the app, it will synchronize the time that you've got, your day, and it will synchronize all the settings you've selected in here. So let's do that just now so you can see how it works and then I'll guide you through the bands functions. So you double click on the button that puts it in sleep mode and you double click again and that will put you in sync mode. When it's in sync mode and you see Bluetooth there, within 15 seconds you need to select on on a Bluetooth there and it's connecting to your band. It says Bluetooth connections is successful and it's synchronizing all the information you've inputted in the app to your band and gathering all the information related to your exercising in the band and bringing it over to the app. Lost mode is so you can track the band if you lo lose it, but it's got a very limited range and you obviously have to have battery on your band. So we'll just put it in normal step mode and imagine that you've lost the band, say it's inside of your pocket, of your jacket pocket. You just click on lost mode and it will connect via Bluetooth to the band and you'll be searching for it. It says that the connection was successfully was successful. Nothing is happening on the band. And it's telling you that it was found within zero to half a meter. If I take the band a bit further out, it's tracking it in full time. And you will see that in a few seconds, it will change to one to two meters. And if I bring it closer again, it will just bring the range up closer. So that's quite a neat little feature that I really like about that. It doesn't have a massive range. It's got, it's got the Bluetooth range about 10 meters or probably less, but it's very good because if I now come out of um, the lost mode, the band will start vibrating. And there you go. There is no speaker on this band, so all the alarms and reminders are done via vibration. So the band will vibrate when it wants to warn you about something. Touch screen is non existent either, so everything is done by this single button down here. Okay, let's first find out about the band now and we'll go back to the app in a few seconds. So the first thing you're gonna, the first screen you have is your time, your date and the battery status. With one more click, you'll be able to find out how many steps you've done in the day. A further click will give you the distance you've traveled in the day. One more click will give you the calories you've burned in the day. And a further click will give you your target for the day. And then you go back to your clock, date and battery status. A double click will bring you to the bed, which is sleep time. You double click once you go to bed and then double click again once you get up. If you forget to double click and there's a lot of movement on the band, it's got an accelerometer inside and the majority of times are not always, but the majority of times you will go back into step mode if it analyzes too much movement. If you double click again, then you're in sync mode. You can either use the three and a half millimeter jack to plug it into an Android phone, which is here, or by one single click in the sync mode, it will bring back Bluetooth, which is the mode that you connect to the app. A further two clicks will bring you back to the walking mode or running. 
Okay, so that's everything with the bracelet. Now let's see what sort of information you will give you about what you do in a day. So this is your main screen. It's your uh, daily report, which in the bubbles up here will give you your daily average in steps, your daily sleep and the calories. You also have that weekly. It will give you an average of it weekly, monthly and yearly. Because I've only had this band since November, obviously I don't have the full data for the year. If we go back to the day, by swiping up, you can see the graph. And this is the day graph, the week graph, the monthly graph, and the year graph. As you can see, I've only started in November. You can also, by clicking on a sleep, you can see your sleep patterns throughout all that time. On the next screen, you've got the activity, your activity throughout the day. And at the top, you can select previous days. You've got your steps as well, and you've got your sleep. It'll tell you how deep your sleep was for how many hours, and how light your sleep was for how many hours, and how many hours you're awake. And that pretty much covers everything within the app. Now, finally, the price. I bought this band on promotion and it cost me £25. I think it was worth £25, but I've seen it selling on Amazon for £49, which I think is a little bit too much because of it being so simple. It is a very, very simple band and I feel that it's worth £25 because it does accurately track you and check everything that you've done throughout the day and help you achieve your goals but more than 25 pounds I think it's a little bit too much but I do like it and I use it all the time the only time I don't use it is when I go and have a shower or go to the swimming pool but apart from that I use it every day so this is my review of the Max Fitness Pro or Fitness Band and I hope you like it. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.